Since its inception in 1983, the intergalactic bounty hunter Lobo has earned a reputation as one of the toughest figures in the DC Universe. He is an ageless alien with super strength and the ability to regenerate new versions of himself from his blood. Throughout his career as a bounty hunter, Lobo has had quite a few clashes with other heroes. But his battle with Guy Gardner remains as one of his most influential encounters. Guy Gardner 15th in the Justice League International is characterized by several personality changes. After being knocked out by Batman in one of Fall Swoop in 1987's Justice League No. 5, Guy transforms into a polite, calm and thoughtful person. He suddenly is the perfect gentleman. This new Guy Gardner could be found volunteering to help his Justice League teammates with his problems and even reading. The entire team was pleasantly surprised by his friendly new take on the hot-headed Green Lantern, but a literal collision erases Gardner's likable personality. Oddly enough, Lobo had no intention of starting a fight with Guy. His initial fight is with other members of the League. In Justice League International No. 18, a villain named Lord Manga Khan hires him to kill Big Barda, Martian Manhunter and some of his countrymen who are after him. When Lobo attacks, Barda uses his Mega Road to transport him away from them, inadvertently sending him to the Justice League headquarters. Guy Gardner is quietly reading a collection of Leonard Nimoy poetry when Lobo crashes into the wall and collides with him. When Gardner recovers from the collision, he growls, muttering, I'm back, and launches at the bewildered bounty hunter. The next issue begins with the return of the Grumpy's lantern as he throws Lobo out of a window. The two exchange explosions on the street and manage to destroy a llama post and a parked car while terrorizing dozens of pedestrians. There is no question, Gardner's gentlemen days are behind us. The true trade blows with increasing animosity until Buster Gold uses his four feet to separate them. Eventually, Lord Mangekan cancels the blow to Big Barta and the cohorts of him. So Lobo leaves, presumably to return to the interstellar junkyard where he had been resting and watching the cosmic dolphins play. For better or for worse, Guy Gardner can just go back to the way things were before they met. It's unclear if the cause was a blow to the head or the inspiring nature of Lobo's rogue exterior. But one thing was for sure, Gardner was back to his so guy ways. No clear winner emerged from the Guy Gardner vs. Lobo showdown, but the intergalactic brawl certainly left an impression on these characters.